Atlantic City government is slimming down. Its new budget is $35 million less than the current one. This isn't a budget that we're presenting and then fighting with the state. This is a budget that we've agreed to as we come in. Mayor Don Guardian is delighted the budget cuts the local property tax by 5 percent. Yeah, taxes is the big one. This is what we can't find when taxes went down in Atlantic City. We went back 20 years. Uh, it hasn't in 20 years. This is going to be uh, a 5 percent reduction in in property taxes for both residents and, and businesses. The city is under state control. Governor Christie designated his friend and ally Jeff Chiesa to oversee city finances. Guardian and state officials have already worked out this budget. Certainly the Chiesa law firm, the commissioner of the DCA, and the director of local finance board uh, uh, understands and approves of, of what we're presenting tonight. And we've been meeting in Trenton probably since early January, every two weeks, uh, putting this budget together. How's that relationship going? Well, no one likes to be taken over, and I'm certainly going to look forward to when, when the city uh, is returned uh, to us. And I, I know that's not going to be probably until the next governor uh, uh, takes the oath. Uh, but, but we have to live with that. Last year's fight over the takeover bill pitted Guardian against Governor Christie. Christie won and said last week the takeover is working. So fiscally things are getting better here. Much better. The governor says that's because of the takeover. Um, so I would say that all of the things that the state did for us certainly could have happened without the takeover. They could have just treated us like they treat the Trentons, the Pattersons, the Union Cities, the Jersey Cities, the Newark. Um, the governor decided not to do that. But certainly from the beginning, I, I have to say we could not dig ourselves out of this by ourselves. The takeover was just excessive. Chiesa and the state want to cut back salaries and staffing at the police and fire departments. They've been partially successful in this budget. Salaries and benefits are definitely cut to the tune of $8 million between police and fire. Positions? No positions cut. The mayor joined the firefighters union in a lawsuit to preserve as many as 100 of the 225 firefighting jobs. That would have been devastating for us, and that would have been uh, an inability in a reasonable time frame to get to a fire. That would have been unreasonable to be the able to... The state wanted you to cut 100 positions? Yes. Guardian describes his relationship with the state as civil. St. Patrick's Day, you called them snakes and full of poisonous venom. Yes, that was the state. The state. <laughs> yes, yes, the state, because they ultimately report to one person. So all of the logic, common sense that I have with so many of the key leadership in the state, they still have to report to the governor. So who's the snake? <laughs> the governor. The governor, you're still calling him a snake? No, I, I'm saying at this point we're finding some solutions, but he created uh, th this difficult situation that we're in. We, we lost the casinos. We asked to be treated like other cities with some comptra, uh, with some school aid, and, and we didn't get it. So you blame him for the city's position? No, but he's part. Just like I gave him credit for the Hard Rock opening, I, I blame him as part of everyone else for the five casinos closing under his watch. Tonight, the mayor presents this new budget to city council. In November, this Republican in a Democratic city stands for re-election. When I ran the first time, I said I'd like eight years. Uh, we've gone through four years. I planted a lot of the seeds. Now it's time to sow those uh, seeds and make sure Atlantic City continues. We, we have a 400 few employees, through, uh, mostly through uh, attrition, uh, that uh, is in City Hall, being employed by City Hall. We've dropped the budget, $56 million. We have a lot of these projects coming on that brings in new tax rateables. So to continue a tax decrease in the next four years for the people of Atlantic City and to really get people to want to move down here, whether it's at a second home or actually come and live here full time, is what my goals are going to be in my second term. With its tax cut, you could say it's an election year budget. In Atlantic City, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.